Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. So today we're going to be working inside this kitchen. Now I will say when we moved in I got a lot of it organized but there was also a few spots I just had zero motivation to get done that I finally want to get complete and then at the end of this video I'm going to do a full kitchen tour. So I'm going to open up every cabinet and every drawer. I know you guys love seeing that. I know I love seeing that. It's really helpful when I go to organize spaces that I can kind of see what other people are doing. Plus I'm just a little nosy. <laughs> so if you are excited about today's video, definitely make sure you're subscribed. Definitely make sure you like that like button and let's jump straight into today's video. Now that I have my kitchen kind of tidied up, I wanted to get just a few things that weren't in its home back in its spot. But now I'm gonna work on my salt and pepper shakers. I recently went to TJ Maxx and I found these new salt and pepper shakers. You're gonna die here in a second. They match my backsplash perfectly. So here are the ones I was using originally. You can find them super cheap at Ross. Dollar Tree even has them. But these new ones were like the perfect color and like pattern on them. So I had to pick them up. They were only three. $3.99 for the set so I thought it was perfect um, now I'm gonna go ahead and just refill them with the ones I had before as I was editing this video I was cracking up because I had no idea as I was putting the stuff in the top it was coming out the bottom I was not even paying attention so you're gonna see that both times I just think these are so cute. Um, like I said, they're from TJ Maxx, but if I can find them anywhere on the internet, like Amazon or any place where you can buy them, I'll definitely put a link for them down below in my description box. I decided to go ahead and hang on to that first set. I feel like with Thanksgiving and Christmases, I normally need two sets out, so I decided to hang on to them instead of getting rid of them. But now we're gonna head on over to my shelves. I need to put some shelf liner in. Like I mentioned earlier, when we moved in, I was just so tired from unpacking and all the drama with the movers and all sorts of stuff. I just never got around to it. So I picked this shelf liner up from Amazon. Um, anytime I can have something ordered and sent straight to my door, it's just so much easier. And I'm super impressed with it. I didn't want like a color, I didn't want a pattern, and I didn't want anything sticky. I did that in my last house, and when I was moving out, I feel like it did way more damage than if I would have just left it empty. So I'll go ahead and link this down below for you as well. So as you can see, I'm just using the shelf to pretty much make a template. I cut around it so I know the size I need. And then I'm just using that as a template to cut out two more because I needed three total for that shelf. So that's one way to do it. If you want to be super technical, you could go in and measure the area, but you're going to watch throughout this video. I'm just eyeballing it. It is not perfect in any means. Now, if you have like a color or a pattern, you kind of have to be more careful, but since this is clear, nobody's going to notice. It is not perfect at all. And when I open up my cabinets now, you can't tell because it is the clear shelf liner. So I highly suggest this product if you're going to be doing this.
The next area I'm gonna work on is right below that cabinet, um, and it's where I keep Savannah's cups. So our cups were up top, these are Savannah's down low. I'll talk more about this during the home tour or the kitchen tour at the very end, so definitely don't click off yet. But when you're cutting stuff like this, do not throw away any scrap pieces until you're finished because you're gonna be able to use those excess in other places. Like two of those strips I cut off from the previous um, shelf liner fit perfectly down here in this shelf liner. So definitely do not throw away any scraps because you can piece them together at the end. It's just more cost effective because this stuff can get pricey if you have a ton of cabinets and if you're gonna put it in every cabinet. Now I'm not putting it in every spot. So if my drawers already have bins in them that this stuff's sitting in, I'm not gonna put it in. If it's an area that I'm not putting wet dishes away, I'm not gonna worry about it. So you'll see more of that during the tour at the end. But in my last house, I put it in every cabinet and there's just so many spaces I don't need it because like I said, I have bins or organizers in them. So I'm just doing this in the areas that really need it. Tell you that I love you 100 times a day. You'll get tired of my voice. That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I miss you. I'll miss you if you go. What's nice when you're cutting these shelf liners, normally once you get the first one done, you just have to trace those or just cut around it for the next two. So it really does speed up the process. So basically every time you're going to a cabinet, you just have to make one and then the next two or three or however many you have are just a lot easier to lay in and put the product back on. So it's just getting that first shelf done and then the rest is easy. Tell you that I need you. I need you every day. You'll get weary of my touch. That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I want. Next up is like my drunk drawer, which is what I like to call it. I've always had one of these um, in my kitchen. It's just really convenient. I like to keep a lot of supplies in there, a lot of tools and batteries. And I've always had one, but I decided to go ahead and use two this time. This used to be Chase's like coffee drawer, but now I've been leaving his like, you know, K-cups up there, like where the bananas are and the straws are up with the coffee cups. So he really doesn't need a whole drawer just for the K-cups. And I think it's gonna work better spreading this stuff out. So I'll show an end clip of this once again during that tour at the end of today's video. Okay, so I feel like I have all the like drawers and cabinets that need liners taken care of. So that stuff worked really well. I'm really happy with it. I like the clear better than like colors or designs, but you guys know that's me. I like it simple. Now we're gonna head into my refrigerator. I need to organize it some. I'll talk more about it like here, my voiceover, but we have a new refrigerator and I'm trying to like figure it out where to put everything. But I did get these like shelf liners to put in it. Then if food gets on it or spills, you just pull it out, rinse it off and put it back in. And then I had a few clear containers left that I haven't used. So I'm gonna see if maybe I can use those in there to get it organized. I am like really good at organizing. Like I love organizing, I love decorating, but when it comes to my refrigerator, 
I'm horrible at it. And when it comes to decorating like coffee tables or dining room tables, I'm horrible at it. <laughs> like it's two things I love, but those are just areas like I'm just not good at. So we're gonna go ahead and go over into my refrigerator and see what we can do. I want to share two tips when it comes to the refrigerator. So we recently started using Second Nature. Well, we've been using them for our air filters for a while. They just get sent to you so you don't forget to replace them. But now they have it for your refrigerator filter and you can set up how often it comes and it has been a game changer. I swear I hate when that light comes on and I forget to replace it and then we have company over and we don't have like the right filter or a new one to put in our refrigerator. So if you guys are looking for something like that, I'm gonna leave the link down below in my description box and it's something like your second and third um, shipment, you get a percentage off. I wanna say it's like 50% off. So this isn't sponsored, but I wanted to let you know that and I'll leave my link down below in my description box. And then these aligners I got off Amazon, they worked perfectly in here. They fit perfect. Um, and I think it was like a seven or eight pack that I found on there. So I'll leave those linked down below, but they're a game changer. Now, if anything spills or gets dirty, I can just take those out and rinse it off in the sink and I don't have to like scrub my whole refrigerator now. So I did have to cut a few of these shelf liners down just for like my top shelf because they're a little bit smaller up there, but it was like the perfect amount. So just ordering one pack was plenty for a refrigerator. I'm sure it's pretty standard. That's probably why you get that amount. So I highly suggest not ordering two. I think one would be enough um, unless you just have like a really oversized fridge, but the one pack worked perfect for me. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do before I share with you the tour that I keep promising is I'm gonna go ahead and unload my dishwasher just so you can see all my cabinets full. I feel like every time I've done like a home tour and I show you my kitchen, like my dishwasher's full of stuff and my refrigerator, so I have empty cabinets. Now we, we don't keep a ton in our cabinets anyways. I'm totally a firm believer in less is more and I don't want them crammed, but I wanted to get everything that I possibly could in them so you could see exactly what they look like when they're like finished to full and complete. this kitchen ready it's organized it's clean so I'm gonna turn this camera around and I'm gonna take you all the way through my kitchen I'm gonna show you inside every drawer and cabinet just in case you guys are interested on what's inside so let's go ahead and flip this camera around okay so the first place I'm gonna start is right here on our island um, I'll kind of show you inside these drawers and what's going on. So this one I just kind of keep for our paper plates and napkins. Then for lunch, we can grab them. They're easy to get to. Um, I didn't have anything like this in my last house, so it's just kind of nice to have it here. Down here is what I call like my party cabinet. So it's all of like our paper cups, paper forks. And then in this bin, um, I have this all organized. So like I have a Christmas one, a New Year's, a birthday, but I keep them kind of separated in Ziplocs and down here. So if I have to like throw together a party real fast, I have it. I have extra napkins and then Savannah's lunch pill. So those aren't like super pretty, but they're functional. This one is like my kitchen towel drawer and then my oven mitts. What I like about these drawers here is they pull all the way out. Can you see that? Like typically when drawers pull out, they kind of stop and then you have to dig your hand back here for stuff. These pull all the way out. So I love that. So that's that drawer. 
This one is like the drawer next to my sink at my last house. It's got all my cleaning racks in it, all my Jaws refills, extra sponges, extra bottles, just kind of all my cleaning stuff right there. And I love to have it like in a rainbow order. And then this one right here is just all my extra sponges basically. If you're new here, I like to cut my sponges in half because it makes them last longer and they fit on my cup can or cup cake stand better just like that these are just a dollar from the target dollar spot i love grabbing those and then these are all my magic erasers i like to cut those into fours because otherwise you will open one up and go through it so quickly so i leave a few big ones just in case but the rest i cut up and then you're just better about not wasting them. And if you do this when you first get it in, then when you go to grab it in a hurry, it's just ready to go. So that's that cabinet. And the last cabinet is right here underneath my sink. I'm just not remembering, I didn't put a liner down here. This one probably needs one, so I'll add it later. But this is just underneath my sink. It's not super pretty, but it's my cleaning products. All the ones I use most are at the front. My dishwashing pods. So that's it, nothing special, but gotta have cleaning supplies, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna turn around and kind of show you just in my refrigerator real fast because we put those liners in and I want you to see how it turned out. Those actually work really well and I love that they're kind of like a see-through clear. Now, if you wanna add some color or pattern to your refrigerator, that's okay. You can grab, you know, different types, but I just liked this clear kind, so. Like I said, I'm not great at organizing the refrigerator, so don't judge me, but everything's in there. You can see it, it's clean, we're good to go. And now we're gonna come over, oh no, let me go up here. So this is the one cabinet I don't organize. I can barely reach it, um, so I don't get up here much. I'm gonna reach up here, so I'll hold up my camera, but this is not organized. Chase is in charge of this one. There you go. See, not everything in my house is organized. So I'll probably work on that one day, but it's hard to keep it clean when I can't reach it and it's just Chase using it. But now we'll work on this top section real quickly. This is all of like our cups right here. So not any of the kids, but it's just, we keep wine glasses. We don't drink alcohol of any sorts, but we like to do it with like breakfast or just special occasions, um, just for like milk or juice and fun stuff like that. Our glasses, and then these are from Target. They're like our plastic ones and I didn't have a liner down in here and when I get them out of the dishwasher it bothered me if they were still wet a little bit but I love that you can't like see these at all so I'll have that linked in my Amazon store and then this one is all of our like plates and bowls can I fix that one it's maybe an OCD there we go it's a little better so I keep all of our bowls down here. These are all of our normal plates and then that's my china up there. And I like to just keep things white because you can mix it and match it better and it just looks clean when you put it away. But like none of this is matching. So like that obviously matches, that matches, but then none of these match. So it's like all different types of white dishes. But for the most part it looks okay and it looks clean and crisp when you're inside. So let me shut these and then we'll move down to the bottom. Okay, so these were the cabinets we just went through. We're gonna go down here to like these lower ones. Right here is where I like to keep my silverware drawer and I just have them in like clear bins. So any drawer that I have bins in, I didn't put liners down because I don't feel like it needs it if it's sitting in something. And I was always told to keep your silverware closest to like where you eat. <laughs> so that's why that's there and it works. Um, down here is like Savannah's cabinet. So this is like our kids cabinet. I do have like one of my cups down here, but basically it's all of like our plastic stuff um, for drinks and her plates so she can get to them easily and they won't break. And then next to this is where I keep like all my pots and pans. I like that it has this extra shelf right here. This has the liner as well. You just can't see it on camera. Um, you guys always ask me about my pots and pans. If I can find them, I'll link them, but they go on major sale around Black Friday. So that's like the time to buy them, not right now. And then we have one more drawer. So let me open this up. So this is like all my supplies, so straws, Ziploc bags. I love to take them out of the bags and put them, these are all from the Dollar Tree. It just looks cleaner than like tons of boxes. Like you can see back there how like messy that is. 
Um, I like it better right here, but typically your drawer only opens to there. And then anytime we get these, I like to keep them just for lunches and different leftovers or if we're gonna be having a picnic somewhere. So that's all like Dollar Tree products, super, super easy to do. Okay, so we have three spots left. I gotta show you this side, this side, and then I'll go ahead and show you in my pantry just in case if you're curious how it's holding up or if you're new here and wanna see inside of it. So now we're moving on to this section and up here is all like my storage containers. I've got them all right there. Obviously there's a few that are like still dirty or in the refrigerator, but that's what it looks like for the most part over here in this one it's basically bowls and measuring cups i've got this layered so like there's a three in there um that it's like nesting and then when you come down here i have this drawer i didn't know what to do with it and this seemed like a waste at first but so far it's working really well if i ever need to like combine this um to have an extra drawer i could but it's just like, you know, when people come over and you have salsa or cheeses, it's just nice to have separate individual bowls and then some measuring spoons and different gadgets. This drawer is always messy. <laughs> it was even messy in my last house. Kind of is what it is. I do have it in containers and I try to do it by color. Like this is all grays. This is silver. This is smaller items. And then these are like my wild cards back here. They're things that don't match, but I use them constantly but like i said normally when you open up your drawer you just kind of see it that far can you guys hear george out there <laughs> he must have saw a bird and then down here is like all my serving dishes and platters um and stands this is kind of the same over here it's like all my cake stands all my dollar sponge holders i like to have these for different events more cake stands so just stuff for like parties now we're moving on to this side so up here once again it's kind of stuff i don't use often it's more for like parties or hosting i actually have a lot more space up there if i were to need it but this is basically i would say chase's like coffee bar so we have mug like extra mugs up there mugs here these are his straws i need to get a few more and then i do keep my cutting boards here just because it's a nice spot and i don't have to like bend down to grab them so I like that area. And then down here is like all of our small appliances. So crock pots, toasters, waffle makers, blenders, all of that. I love having them like all in one area that I can reach. That's been really helpful. And then I would call these two our junk drawers. I actually switched switch them once I got off camera. I'll open them up together. So basically I like to keep a tool area just so we don't have to go out to the garage every time we need something. So this is just nice right here. I have dividers. This is linked to my Amazon store. It just holds the batteries and then you can test them to see if there's charge left. And then over here's just more of like my notes and pins and pads and push pins and you know just stuff you need in the house but you don't really know where to keep it so i love having this out in our kitchen i've always had a drawer like this it just worked out where i could have two in this kitchen so it's just helpful and convenient okay so the last area is my pantry i went ahead and opened the door i do have a whole video where i organize this from top to bottom and i just start over it's like right when we moved in the house so nothing was in it if you want to check it out and in my last house i have a whole kitchen home tour without a pantry so if you don't have a pantry and you don't have this option go back and watch the video for my last house it'll help you out but I just kind of have everything organized. It's not like visually super pleasing, but it's very functional for us. Um, these containers are all from Walmart. I can link them for you. <laughs> these baskets are from Ross. It used to be like in a three-tiered stand I just grabbed and used. Um, these are all from Walmart right here. And then I do have like a Cricut Joy that I used for my labels that I love. I keep like extra paper products at the top and vitamins over there. So that is the pantry. 
Okay guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new that you can use either in your pantry or your kitchen. Maybe it'll get you up and motivated to either clean or organize or just relax and watch somebody else's video or head on over and watch one of my other videos as well. But I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.